Last time on Ruin King. You head into Grey Harbor. Do you have any idea what you face? I don't care. I've got someone to find. Why not join us? We can search for your friend together! The mist is unlike any danger you have faced. Whoever you seek in Grey Harbor is likely dead. Speed will get you nowhere. It is true. Brom knows first hand. It almost killed him! <laughs> These things are giving a big guy like you trouble. Maybe we should stick together. In that case, I'll help you. For now. Help us. <laughs> and your help is most welcome. Uh, what shall we call you? Yasuo. Hola amigos, Ghost here, and today we continue our journey into Ruined King. Ilawi and Brahm reached the blockaded gate leading into Grey Harbor, ready to face its dangers and learn of the reason why the mist seems to be returning. When the gates opened, the party faced immediate hostilities from Mistwalkers. During this battle, Yasuo joined in, proving to be a deadly ally. With his help, the group made short work of the spirits. With the way clear, the group stops for a moment to speak. Ilawi and Brahm convince Yasuo to join them as their goals align in terms of seeking answers in Grey Harbor. With a new member to the group, the group temporarily sidetracks itself with the unfinished business in Fleet Street's deserted warehouse. The deserted warehouse proved to be a front for illegal smuggling tunnels operated by thugs that are clearly not in charge of it. The group must discover the truth behind this operation. This is where we continue our journey. Let's do this! Let's move up. Finish this mission. Hmm? Oh, are you a fresh recruit? Grab those empty boxes near the chair. No, wait. I recognize you. You're the customer from the shop. Oh, oh, this is not what it looks like. Chester and I are just victims. It was those smugglers. It was those men. It was all them. If you're here, you must have seen them. A few months ago, they threatened me and Chester to let them use our store to move their imports. They said they'd make it worth our while. Yeah, that's it. That's what it is, she nods. We had some bad investments, some slow business, and we just couldn't deal with another problem. So we went along with it. We thought they'd leave us alone eventually, but they never did. Explain the Razor Fins a likely story sounds unfortunate. They were just a distraction to keep people away from the warehouse because they couldn't close it off. The poor things, some call Razorfin's vicious, but I think they're just misunderstood, she says. A likely story. P please, just talk to Chester, Beryl says. She looks at the ground. Better not be lying. Better not be lying. Beryl, could you be a deer and fetch me some cider? Oh, I see. This is quite the turn of events. I've worked too hard for this, and if you think I'm going to let you go to waste, you know even less than I think you do. Beryl. Or Burl. Ow! Let's have some fun, Chester. I fucking... Okay, this is a twist I did not realize. Holy shiza! The amount of health they have compared to us. Barrel. <laughs> Jesus. Stealth. Untargetable by single target abilities. Increases attack power by 50%. Removed if damage is taken for one turn. Sneaky Strike deals moderate damage if stealth deals massive damage instead. Apply stealth to self. And for Chester, 
their buffs, lovebirds, gains a stack of enrage each time his wife takes damage, increasing attack power by 5 per stack and is an infinite time. Protect wife, steps forward to protect his wife from damage, takes 50% of damage taken by her. Trounce, deals moderate damage over 3 hits. So they're not really strong in combat, but still, ow. What we're going to do is probably... Mm, No, we're gonna do this. We're gonna add Stand By Me to add to everybody real quick. For the tent, we're gonna just do Tentacle Smash for the old man. Just tentacle smash once more. Might as well just do the most damage to Chester as we can. Oh, now she's stealthed. Now I think we have full. No, we don't. I forgot. We only used him once. Just keep doing damage to him. Uh, yeah. Just basically bully the old man. For the moment. Here it comes. Ooh. A big one. But now we can do that to her. Which causes damage to both of them. Now we're going to add, get more shield for both. No, actually, we're going to target. Uh, let's give shield to Elawi if she needs it. Speaking of her, she needs to heal everybody. Stealth herself. And now we're gonna heal. Okay. I think the best thing to do is once more give more shield to everybody. And meanwhile, I think we. Yep, we can attack. We're going to attack this time. We're going to attack Chester with this. tentacles we have four I think we can get one more so let's smack them a little bit yep five tentacles get our shield up oh my god damn we're gonna you know what we're gonna have to fucking kill these people <laughs> Got him. Okay, that's good. That is good because we need to heal Brom <laughs> immediate fucking Lee. And for Brom, we need to add defense to yourself. It's good to have friends. Uh. 
Is it now? A fine success. Yeah, she doesn't have the ability to do anything. And this time around, we are going to just start beating the hell out of her with all of our specials. Even if he doesn't have full Tempest. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Gathering my strength. Ooh. Can't contain the wind. Oh yeah, attack power up, and we're about to come on, do good damage. Never get oh, no. That's alright, that's alright. The wind stirs. Oh, we caused the bleed on her. Oh yeah, time to end this. Oh, I can't do anything with that, but it's okay. We're just gonna just add it to him since he needs the help. This we will smack the hell out of him with the harsh lesson, and that whoever kills her first, <laughs> well, knocks her out. Basically. Next time, stay out of my way. Bam. Bunch of gold, green essence. Holy crap, that's a lot of XP. Yeah, I was expecting that. Yeah, holy crap. The amount of uh, level ups. For Yasuo, we get Gale Strike. Deals 73 damage over 2 hits and applies Cutting Wind, dealing additional true damage each time they are hit. And also Champion Rune, so I've been unlocked for him. Now he has 400 health, 40 stamina, 73 attack power, 23 defense for physical attacks, and also for magic actually. And for Yalawi, we get 1 upgrade point, and a Harsh Lesson 2, uh, a Tier 2 upgrades can now be done. And she get, goes up to 640 health, 64 stamina, 55 attack, 38 physical defense, and 32 magic defense. Stop! Stop! I'm smart enough to recognize when I've been beaten. Burl, our luck's been waning. Chester, our operation is in shambles. We can't replace those men. My offer is this. We agree to halt smuggling and offer you special wares for sale. Are we in agreement? No more harm will come from us to you. The strong will find a way to survive, even in Bilgewater. As long as I don't have to worry about a dagger in my back, I'm content to let things be. Sorry for the intrusion. Mercy is a rare gift given, and I squander no gifts. Be on your way then. If you're square, if we're square, we have some cleaning up to do. Shall we amend our business ways? Nah, stay the course. Let a few moons pass before we resume operations on the quiet. There's always some eager saps at the docks or some such to replace the old crew. You are my true love, Chester. I to you, and you to I, my lovely Burl. I love how they are saying that um, just moments after we left. And somehow she teleported in front of us, which is freaking hilarious. Either way, we're going back in because we're going to steal from y'all. After all that, I'm stealing from your chest. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. And what's up here? Ooh. Ooh, a lot of goodies. We're gonna have to check that out momentarily. But yeah, I think... Yeah, that's everything. Uh, Fleet Streets has all of the... Uh, has been fully un, uh, uncovered. All the treasure, all the lore. Wonder if we could talk... Wrong side of the counter, friend. <laughs> okay, so we can't uh, talk to him for his shop this direction. But that's a-okay. Alright, let's head up.
Alright, let's talk to the uh, dude. The man sidles up to you eagerly. Did you do it? I heard quite a ruckus going on in there. What's the story? Did you find a giant nest? Was it haunted? Yes, you'll never believe what caused the infestation. I won't. What was it? Some giant mother brood rat? Actually, the rat nest was installed as cover for a smuggling tunnel. Get out. That old mom and pop shop was part of a smuggling operation? Wow. I thought they were the one uncorrupted part of Blywater. I guess nothing is sacred or scared anymore. I feel like my whole world view is shattered. But no time for that. I gotta, I gotta start thinking about my new store. For your efforts. Much oblige. And hopefully you're a better man than them. Granted, they don't seem to be bothering anybody. Granted, they are smuggling, but granted, I'm pretty sure everyone in this damn city is smuggling something. And people are dying left and right anyway, so... I mean, it is what it is. Also, I think that was sacred. I don't know why I said scared. I don't know. Uh, my brain just sees word and says, no, it might be this, actually. But yeah, that was a fun side mission. And great that we actually were able to complete it. And now... With all of the rewards and such, we could probably upgrade our characters a little bit more now. So, yeah. Alrighty then. Let's take a look at our equipment because I know there are some new weapons we have. So let's see. We have the Blue Flame Broadsword. Which will give him 80 plus health. 172 attack power. Damn. 16 plus stamina. And also gives it a lot more haste. Though we don't get any lifesteal from with the uh, Syrian Blade we already have, but that's A-OK, -okay because this is a be better, that, that's way better. Uh, we have the Wanderer's Tunic, which is worse. We also have the Defender's Ring, which would decrease attack power, but give us a lot more benefits for Yasuo. I would not want, I'd rather have my Glass Cannon still be strong, very deadly, so we'll probably give the Defender's Ring to one of the others. We also have these, the Shark Tooth Necklace we already have equipped. This one would also weaken some stuff, so nah. Don't have any other trinkets. So let's take a look. We have the Clockwork Shield. A strange piece of technology that won't stop ticking. Hex Tech Shock, 20% chance on hit to deal 71 true damage. That's actually very good. And also, I think it has Jagged Hooks. 20% chance on attack to bleed an enemy with each hit, dealing 87 true damage over 3 turns. Damn! Though it does decrease our health a bit, it does increase our attack power by a lot. A little less stamina, but it does give us... I think it's a good trade-off, actually, to do that. Yeah. Because we could always find something that... Like, for instance, the Defender's Ring weakens our attack power by just a tiny bit. But it... Bam, actually, that works out actually very well. And we have the Regrowth Pendants. Uh, we already have one, but there is the green version, which is slightly weaker. Okay. For this, we also have, we actually have nothing new that's useful for us. I mean, there is a weighted brass idol that has, like, increased attack power, but it's weaker than what we have, so nah. These are not anything better. Uh, we could, nah. This does what? Increases gold. We want to keep, oop. We want to keep that, just cuz. But this is definitely very useful. I might uh, swap this out at some point. Once we start getting uh, a noticeable amount of money every fight and such, this might not be uh, needed anymore. The plunder is pended, so I could swap out. Or if there's a tough battle, I'll just swap this out for that one battle. But there we go with that. With abilities, we have one ability point for Ilawi. And let's us see, we can, obviously we can't upgrade our ultimate, but we can upgrade one of these. Uh, t -t 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 not that one. Uh, actually, let's see, what is Harsh Lesson 2? Reduces recovery time by 50%. Each tentacle strikes deals an additional 4 damage. I don't... Hmm, recovery time. If I'm, if I understand, recovery time is referring to um 
the amount of time between the attack on like the little lane thing at the end, at the bottom of the uh, battle screen. That actually is quite useful. The tentacle attacks uh, do already a small amount of damage, so I don't know if that will be very useful unless we have like five or six tentacles. So I think I'm gonna do harsh lesson uh, to to a which reduces the amount of time. Yeah, that's what I'll do for that. And besides that, we also have uh, things for the runes for Brahm and Yasuo, or Yasu. I think it's Yasu. I keep forgetting. Let's see. For Brahm, he we have Bulwark and Strongman, and the current and we have cool uh, horn symbol and a mus a fist symbol for the other one. The common abilities that we can get currently are Guardian Rank 1, increases the power of damage shields by 10%. Deterrence, applies a damage shield on Brom when struck by a critical hit, absorbing 141 damage. That is f useful as hell. Um, critical Opening, increases crit chance by 30% for the first action taken. Pretty good. And up AP Up, increases attack power by 5%. All of these are pretty useful. Let's take a look at the mastery perks. So for they all are the same like with the uh, Ilawi. So three, six, nine, twelve is the amount of runes you have to spend to get the each the uh, up to each of these. For mass for the bulwark, we have critical defense reduces damage taken by critical hits by thirty percent. Defense master mastery increases physical and magic defense by twelve percent. Shield of the Frey Lord a uh, chance to add a boon to the initiate bar. That adds a damage shield to champions in the region, shielding 20% of their max HP. Pretty useful. And Fortify. Reduces all damage taken by 15% while health is below 30%. Interessante. And for these ones, we have Crit Chance Mastery. Increases Crit Chance by 3%. Crit dam Damage Mastery. Increases Crit Damage by 10%. Winter's Chill. Chance to add a boon to the initiative bar that allows any champion landing in the region to apply a slow to all enemies, reducing haste by 20% for one turn. Pretty useful, actually. And Siege Breaker increases attack power by 15%. So, from my understanding, this one's specifically more for the combat, and this is more for the defense. For Brom, honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna spec these out. Obviously, from uh, the we are able to just recollect them so but for now i think i'll get deterrence because that is actually pretty strong because getting hit by a critical hit doesn't happen every single time but it happens in every fight so it's it's a good chance to be able to protect him from damage uh for let's see now for yasu yasu we have the way of the blade and way of the wind uh, for the way of the blade we have follow-up 10 percent chance that any attack will award 20 overcharge Small ten, uh, it's not as strong as I think it could be, but it is useful per se. Then we have AP up rank one, increases attack power power by five percent, which already will give him a lot, even be make him even stronger for a glass cannon. Then we have crit chance up rank one, increases crit chance by five percent, and then haste up rank one, increases haste by five percent. So yeah, this helps with allowing you to strike more often and more deadly. While this one at least does other combat. From what I can tell, Wave of the Blade and Wave of the Wind just do different versions of allowing you to do a lot more damage quickly. This one I think makes it more a, a bit more dam uh, allows you to hit fat, uh, more often and possibly even for greater hits because of critical ch crit chance. And this looks like all the damage that can be done by those crits and such. So. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just get him AP up, so it can be just slightly stronger. But also for the mastery perks, obviously the same, 3, 6, 9, 12. For the Way of the Blade, we have Attack Power Mastery, increases attack power by 3%. Crit Damage Mastery, increases critical damage by 8%. Blade Master's Guidance, chance to add a boon to the initiative bar that increases crit chance by 20% of champions in the region for one turn. And Full Potential, increases attack power by 30% when health is above 70% of maximum. So that is going to be clear to keep him strong and healthy. It will allow him to just be even more of a powerful glass cannon. Him emphasis on the glass cannon, so we have to make sure he stays healthy. In the fight for that once we get that if we get that 
Uh, for the Way of the Wind, we have Crit Chance Mastery increases Crit Chance by 3%. Haste Mastery increases Haste by 6%. Wind's Guidance, chance to add a boon to the initiative bar that increases Haste by 10% of champions in the region for the rest of, the, of that battle. Stacks to 3 times, very good. And press the advantage, increases attack power by 4% on a crit. Stacks 6 times, lasts the entire battle. So like I was saying, from my understanding at least, yeah, the, the way of the wind allows you to be able to do crit chance, uh, have the crits occur more often, and you'll be able to strike more often, while the way of the blade gives you more of the damage for those crits and overall damage overall. Because this one's like critical, uh, critical damage, while this uh, is critical chance. So yeah, we took, that's actually pretty useful to know. From one obviously defense mostly, and the other's more offensive capable. This one seems to be more healing based. From looking at these without having to read them at the moment, while this one just increases a mix of defense and attack. Interesting. I wonder what the other characters uh, will be like with that. Um, besides that, I think that's everything we have at the moment. We could enchant things. I did look at this with an extra save file, and we could do some things like sharpness weapon for like uh, Yasuo, so he could have even more deadly uh, crit rating. We could also uh, improve the armor rating of some stuff. And we could also upgrade specific weapons and stuff. So we could like upgrade uh, the starting tarnished idol of Naga Kaboros and make it a bit stronger. It's still weak because of its level, but then after we get it to the uh, blue rarity, we can make it into the uh, purple ra rarity, which would make it a bit better. But I don't know if it would actually help with the uh, current thing. We could also do it while they're. Uh, already being equipped so like with the bounty hunter garb we can actually make it an epic gear item and give it a little bit more upgrade while it's already being in equipped so that is useful and if i do need to use it i will at the moment i'm saving off because we have 150 crystals for the uh, epic infusion and also for the rare infusion so we don't have too many of those crystals so i think i'll save my uh crystals for later on to upgrade at higher tier weapons and such of those levels but yeah i believe that is everything but i do know that we are getting close to possibly getting a tome of knowledge for brahm because we have i think like 90 points how many points do we have yeah 90 points so we're close to getting this and we possibly could get both Brahm and Yasuo soon because I have no idea what uh, the place we have to go to. I don't know how many lore uh, things will be there. There's possibility and possibly there might be multiple places over there that we can uh, go and get things. But yeah, with all that, let's head that way. I do notice Brahm is pretty weak. I probably am going to have to give him some potions and stuff. Granted, he is close to a leveling up, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so he could... I could hold off on using potions. Might Maybe some of my weakest ones just for him. Because he's pretty much almost fully... He'll be able to uh, regain all of his stuff in the next level. So, yeah, I'll, I'll think about that. I think we're going the right way, right? Yep. Alrighty then. Real quick, we're going to do see browse wares. Let's see if there is anything new. But no, these are the same things as we have slash used to use, so don't think yeah, none of this will help. This one would help uh, for Yasuo by just a tiny bit. How much money do we have? We have a decent amount. So we'll see in a moment. Uh, let's take a look. Hang on. Let me remember. Equipment. 
for Yasuo, he has the regular Shark Tooth Necklace. So, okay, buying that actually would just give us a tiny boost. Which, you know what, we're going to do that. There's also this. This would actually increase a lot for Yasuo. But it would get rid of... How much crit do we have for Yasuo? Yasuo. Uh, let's see. His crit is 18.6%. I think that would get, what, away 3%? Yeah, 3%. Uh... Hmm... Mm. You know what, we're going to buy both, and during combat, or before combat, we will test both of them out, probably, maybe. Just to see. I'll buy both, and I can easily sell them. Granted, I don't know how much, if I'll sell them, I'll be able to sell them for the same amount as before, but we will see. So, yeah, this one would decrease it by 3%, so we'll lose 80% of our crits. But we'll stay above 400. This would give us 19 more, making it more than 500. But only and increase our attack power a little bit. I think the best case scenario. Um, for now, we're gonna just do Shark Tooth Nicholas. If the this one proves to be better for us, then we'll use that. But besides that, let's, t let's take a rest or have a conversation. Can we have a conversation? Nope. But we can eat a meal and rest again. Uh, Chen, yeah, hit granted. That's actually pretty useful. We have five of those. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. And there we go. Brahm is full powered and we have the stat thing. Now all we gotta do is head to... Can I press the right button? Gray Harbor, that's what it was called. I was trying to remember what the color was. And I love how it's also up on my screen. Uh, top left corner and I just blanking on the name of Grey Harbor for a second but now with everything we've done doing the side missions the only thing that's left to do is the main mission and as well as the bounty hunting mission that we have that is in Grey Harbor as well so honestly all we gotta do is continue the main story slash explore Grey Harbor for our bounty and any other activities so yeah let's -a go into Grey Harbor Oh, I, I expected a uh, <laughs> a conversation or something to occur, but that's all right. Let's take a look. Zoom out to see. Holy crap! Okay, this I think this is bigger than the other place, uh, Fleet Streets and um, the docks. This is way bigger. And let's see, is there any yet? Yeah, Buru te uh, Buru Temple. So there. Okay, so there is something. It leads to another place, because I think this is the only way you can get to Buru Temple. Except, actually, no, wait. I think the grotto... Uh, actually, no, the grotto doesn't even go to the temple. It goes to the well, to the Mother of Spirits. Or, Mother Serpent. Okay. Hmm. Not sure where we're supposed to go, but... Looks like there's no lore, just a single treasure that I can see. So I think the if we're able to, we're going to go that way to grab the treasure real quick. But we'll see. Oh. So this is Grey Harbor, yes? Such fog. I see where it gets its name. This place stagnates. You are sweating like a true Vask in the sun. I can feel the spirits here. They are festering. I will allow no such thing. We will return motion to this place. The light of the bearded lady will show us the way. Yes, of course. Bearded lady, 
Motion. What have you gotten yourself into now, Brom? What happened here? The town square should be filled with the sounds of laughter and the music of the smith's anvil. It was not always like this. The heroine. It happens every few years. Without warning, our second isles are overrun. The black mist of the Shadow Isles rolls across the ocean in an unstoppable wind, unleashing a horde of maddened spirits on all who stand in its path. Great champions of darkness ride against the shores of Bilgewater. The last harrowing we suffered took root here in Grey Harbor. Many were lost, and we fought with all we had to hold our ground. That night I called upon the power of my goddess Nagakaboros and cleansed Grey Harbor. Yet somehow the mist has returned. And the shadows with it. Something has upset the balance. There is a temple here. It may provide us with answers. Cool. Some cutscenes. Oh. So we have to go find the temple. That means we have to go that way. And that means us exploring like through half of this area to get there. Because we have to. Of course, that's how the game goes. But that was a cool set of little cutscenes that would further explain how Grey Harbor has become the way it is. It looks like a lot of tier 7 stuff. Interesting. A lot of combat encounters soon. Okay. Uh, let's try to get to that chest. I don't scare, I don't tire, and I don't stop. Okay, we don't even get a chance to hit after we did some damage to them. Uh, I think we did, we have seen the Sorrowful or Wisp. We definitely have seen the Mistwalker Sailor, so I'm gonna see. Transfer Essence, yep. Yep, 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 okay. So, what we're gonna do first is probably take out the Miss Sailor. Then we eat. Damn! And we're going to strike at this one. And this one. Oof. Oof. Ow. Take out this one possibly? Oh yeah, we're about to take out both of these in one second. Don't even bleed. Bam. On to the next one. <laughs> Decent little amount of gold, white essence, mist, yep, yep. And... Bro oh, 7 XP we need for Brom. Damn. That's okay, there's a bunch of enemies we can fight up ahead. Soon enough. Let's get that. Get all that. There we go. And there's a plate. I wonder if that place leads up. Yeah, that actually can lead just straight that directly. Okay. I thought it was a one-way thing. Because of how the arrow is pointed. Uh, do, 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 do. do we get anything that's new that could be useful? Nope. Nope. To get a ring that's what ring do we have ring of resolve this one gives us actually that might be useful to yeah let's do that it grants two mana each turn that's useful since she uses a lot of mana based stuff anything else that's new 
Of course, we could do the Fishborn Talisman, but I do want to keep getting the gold. Anything new for Brom? Uh, nope. Nope, okay, we're good. Alrighty then. I do want to go there, just so I can possibly head that way quicker, but I do want to go the other way, because I do want to find Malik. Granted, we may not be able to attack him just yet, since we just entered this place, but... L, it could happen. So... Yeah, we're going to go down south and just go all over the place first. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's keep going. We do have, what, two enemies over here? Where are they? Yep, there they are. I'm going to try to avoid the mist attack. Try to get them to aggro on me. Yep, there we go. Crap, I missed. Keep going, keep going. Smack him. Got him. All things in motion. I always start smacking these fools. Miss Walker Villager. I think that's new, actually. Strike deals light damage over two hits. Deals heavy damage. Has a large chance to miss. Large chance to crit, but a moderate chance to miss. Makes sense. We will smack the hell out of... Villager. Again, we will smack the hell out the villager. RIP. A fine success. Ow. Bam. Winter's bite can be unforgiving. That should level up, bro. And there we go. Upgrade point and tier 2 for stand behind me. Okay. Level 9 allows him to be 600 health, 60 stamina, 77 attack power, and both 77 physical and magic defense. There we go. And I think the, uh, the other enemy is still there. So what we're going to do is smack him. But first, what's this? This fountain was once beautiful, but now lays in disrepair. Go on, yeah. Got your ass. Friends, you have my shield. Alright, first let's smack the hell out of the villager. Oh, of course. Just for that, I'm striking at you. You know, it's funny, I think I could take them both out with the speed lane version. Yeah, let's do it. And we will just... Oh, never mind. There's no point. <laughs> Our tentacles fucked them up. <laughs> And Yasu will soon have, will, will soon be level 8. Ooh, what's this? Try as you might, this door will not budge. You listen closely, but there are no sounds coming from inside the house. Well, I would assume no one's living over here anymore. It would be quite sad if they did. Because they're basically trapped. Okay, let's check out the town square. Another enemy. Let's see, yeah, let's check out this way. Oh, got you. You know nothing. Oh. Okay. We already have seen the wharf rat, the spectral one. We also now we have the tame shrapnel launcher. Shredder cannon deals very light damage to each champion and applies a stack of shrapnel with each with each hit. Deals moderate damage over four hits. Okay. For Brom, we're going to immediately smack the hell out of all of them. Just a minute. 
Ow. 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 And we are going to... No, we're gonna heal everybody. For you, we're just going to smack them off. Going to smack the sailor. Damn. Good amount of heals, and that's gonna hurt us all. Thank God we had a lot of defense. Bam, there we go. Is that all? And there we go, he's been leveled up. One upgrade point and tier 2 for Gale Strike. For level 9, he is now 500 health, 50 stamina, 126 attack power naturally, and 24 physical and magic defense. Bam. What in the hell is that? A mysterious object hums with strange energy. The air around it buzzes and vibrates. The unusual sensation is almost hypnotizing. The arcane nature of this object is understood innately. Though some unknown means, it will imbue a possession of yours with great power. But the item will be lost temporarily until you find where the device teleports to. I'm going to inspect the device. Studying the exterior of this artifact, it becomes clear that this, that its periodic pulses of energy warp the space around it for a brief moment. This object is built for teleportation of some kind. Uh, I would offer something, but I do not want to lose anything at the current moment, so we'll just, uh, hold off on that for the moment. But it's good that we know it's there. Might have to look that up, see what this actually is, and where it might actually show up in location-wise, but... Yeah, there we go. We explored a little bit of Grey Harbor, but we got a lot more to do on our way to find Malik and also go to the temple. So, yeah. And with that, we conclude today's chapter of Ruined King. I hope you all enjoyed the chapter. I certainly did. Until next time, this is Ghost, signing out.